Apple on a crisp autumn evening where the Red Wings will host Green Bay Preble in a key conference battle tonight. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, this has uh, big time playoff implications and that's why we're here tonight and not at North High School. You're talking about a game on paper that's maybe the best game in the whole uh, classic, I guess we can call it now. You got two teams that have four and three records, each got three three wins in conference. You look at their schedule, you know, the schedule and the teams that they've played, they almost match each other. You know, the loss that they had, the scores are similar, the wins are similar. You got two teams that got key running backs. I mean, we, get, we might have a great game tonight. Let's just hope it turns out that way. Let's talk a little bit about Preble. They're really one-dimensional. They have a great running back, and they'll just run him to death. Yeah, Garrett Menowald, he's got the last two weeks 415 yards. One game he had 194, the other one he had about 210. He's got four touchdowns the last couple weeks. So, you know, you're talking about Coach Proc now that likes to line up real tight. We've seen him before, and, you know, they're going to run, definitely run the football a lot more than throwing it. And they have a big offensive line, too, I might add. South, on the other hand, they've got the good running back in Ray Smith, but they're a little more balanced in their attack. Yeah, and we were talking just a couple minutes ago that maybe that might be the key. Can can uh, South, you know, run with Ray Smith, who's got 1,111 yards, four ones, 13 <laughs> touchdowns this year, but he's also got a, uh, a little bit of offense, uh, Coach Hine does, in, in passing the game with uh, Travis Brunette and Curtis Wilson. So, you know, maybe that balance might offset Preble's run, run, run. Then it comes down to defense. And, you know, it's like we say, defense wins championships or maybe gets you into the playoffs. Yeah, we've seen South uh, a lot this year, Marty, and I think one thing that we definitely see them do is improve their defensive tackling and things, and there's not going to be any difference tonight. They're going to have to tackle well, you know, control control that, that running game, slow that down, force Preble to, to put it up in the air. Uh, you know, it's just going to be a matter of, you know, who can who can develop with the line and things like that, push it out and see what happens. I think it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great game. We're going to step out right now, and we come back, we'll have the opening uh, tip kickoff for tonight's football game. These days, kids are logged on or plugged in almost 24-7. Parents need to start early to help kids make good technology choices. But where do you start? Visit tunedinfamily.com. Get the tools you need to make sure they're plugged in to the values that are important to your family. Hey Kyle. What are you doing? We need to talk about your choice of games. Tunedinfamily.com. Helpful tools you can use for the good of your family. Two million seals and counting, killed over the last decade. Make your voice heard. Visit ifa.org to end the cruelty. Energy prices are just too high. That's what drove us to attempt the first static electricity powered home. Success has been elusive. Besides making the house itself more energy efficient, the smartest thing we did was adding Energy Star products. Static electricity may not be viable, but at least we've taken a step for our future. Anybody can make their home more energy efficient. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Mommy. Mm -hmm. ah! United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. Back at South High School where uh, the Red Wings have just been introduced and uh, teams are going to get ready for uh, the opening kickoff. Uh, this Menden Hall that uh, Chris mentioned in the opening is uh, quite a running back. He goes 5'11", 208 pounds. So he's a big package, and he's a senior. So he knows what he's doing out there, Chris. Yeah, he definitely does. I, I believe he plays a little baseball, too. And uh, good athlete. Something that uh, uh, Sheboygan South is going to have to worry about. Before we get too far, I'd just like to uh, uh, express our prayers out for Nate Bergman and his, and his family. 
Uh, Nate was a former Sheboygan South athlete here, I believe, a few years back. Was a very good running back and uh, in a very bad car accident the other day. And uh, just uh, want to know that he and we're thinking about him and his family. And uh, I remember watching Nate run out in the field here and play basketball and things here at South High School. Yep, he was a good one. One of the best. And not much you can say there. It's a tragic situation for that family all the way around. The other circumstances that went on. Uh, Lucas Bartlett is uh, going to get ready to kick off for uh, the Preble Hornets. And we mentioned about the size of uh, Mendenhall. In the program race, Smith is listed as uh, 6 feet 196 and a senior. I can tell you right now, Chris, he's not 6 feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's really strange? Well, as this game's going to get started here in a second, I'll let you go here. It's just amazing how big the backs are. Those used to be linemen, those sizes. Now they're, they're your high school tailbacks. That's the truth. Back deep for North is a Travis Brunette and uh, Mark Sager. Ground ball kick picked up by an up back. Uh, good running up hard, and we have a flag down right away. Steve Bakhti on the uh, return, and uh, bad omen. <laughs> We had a game out at Lakeland. They must have had 20 fouls, 10 on each team. There's a return. Nice hard running by Bakhti. But there is a penalty on the return. And they're talking to Preble, so it appears to be on south. Well, we didn't mention John Kabai in the opening, Marty. He's the quarterback at Sheboygan South. Senior hockey player. Uh, play some baseball. Six touchdowns this year for uh, John. 619 yards through the air, but uh, he doesn't do all his uh, damage through the air. He can uh, run a little bit, and hopefully yeah. he can be, serve as a balance uh, for uh, Ray. Ray Smith is a lone setback. We have uh, three wide receivers off to the left. Goodbye under center. Well, lead play, and they get uh, Smith in the backfield, and he's hit back for a two-yard loss back to the 25-yard line. Boy. Tried to stretch play, but uh, Preble had uh, had a good read on it. Yeah, just a little slow on the exchange there, and Preble could read that quickly. Uh, boy, yeah. I almost thought it was supposed to be a quarterback option. Right. But uh, Kabai got pushed back deep in the backfield. It's one of those deals where uh, <coughs> defensive coordinator Chris Korf, you know, you maybe script your plays all week, and then the first one gets all boggled up, and it's like, boy, we practice this practice, and not much of a start. Curtis Wilson split off wide to the right. Full house backfield, hand off to Smith. He gets around the corner, had a good block. Tries to run through another tackle, but is knocked out of bounds near the 35-yard line. Oh, he's so not going to get a good mark here, Marty. Make it 34. 34 would make it the uh, third down and about three. So it'll give Smith about a nine-yard pickup on that play. Well, Sheboygan South got their uh, selves in this position to make the playoffs with a victory over... Pulaski last week, 34 to 20. Uh, Green Bay Notre Dame beat Preble last week, 19 to 15, and South has beat Notre Dame. Full house backfield, give it to Smith again, dancing in the middle, he's gonna get hit back. About the 32 or 33 yard line, great defensive uh, push by Preble to uh, keep South from getting the first down. There you see a lot of pressure, a lot of penetration by the Hornets. Yeah, almost looked like uh, Preble was stacked up on that side. Ball spotted on the 32-yard line. Make it a loss of two, it's fourth down. Chris Lauchs is back deep. Takes it on the 35. Gets a pretty good block. And he's ripped down, what a hit. Making the solid hit that time was uh, Calvin Wink. The return man was Brian Slusarek, number 13. Watch this hit. Woofta <laughs> dropped him like a bad habit. <laughs> oh, they showed good speed too for the 225 bounder. First and 10 Preble. Ball spotted on the 42. Inside handoff. Not much going there for the running back Garrett Mendenhall Mendenwald. They get second down. Give him a yard on the play. Well, you mentioned the opening. Green Bay Preble is big up front. And so uh, 
They're gonna stack everybody up and try to run against those big horses. Uh, Chris Marcel, Sully is the 300 pounder. His brother was an outstanding athlete at Preble. I believe he owns the uh, state shot put record. I think he pitch beats out Duke to Menden. Voigt. Yeah, pitch to Menden while he tries to pick and choose going off a uh, left tackle, but uh, not much there. Getting off the bottom of the pile is the linebacker, Jeff Zelko. Actually, they got him listed as a defensive end. Now, you said your son would always be on the top of the pile, right? Well, you got to jump quick in there just so you know, get an assist there when you're looking at the films. They're down in about seven. Full house backfield for uh, Preble. Fake to Mendenwald. He's oh, opening the, oh, right in the hands and dropping the ball was Jared Simon and boy did he do south a favor. Yeah, Brent Jacobs, the linebacker, did not go with the uh, running back there. You see 34 went by him and you're right, south caught a break there, but three and out. Okay, back to punt is uh, Bartlett. Back deep for uh, the Red Wings. It looks like it's uh, Charlie Rissy, number nine. Good snap, and the kick is away. And uh, letting it bounce, takes a good south bounce. It's gonna be downed at the 35 yard line. Boy, that's not much of a punt. Ah, uh, no. Only a 20 yarder, we're seeing up here in the booth. So good field position for the Red Wings and they'll take over at the 35, John Kabai coming out. There's like no win tonight, Marty. It's just one of those, like you said, autumn crisp nights. Smith alone setback, Brunette is wide right. Wilson wide left, full house backfield again for the Red Wings. Yeah, they use Bakhti as a blocker here to lead. And I think they're gonna be too much time on the Red Wings. Illegal procedure actually. But it is a penalty on them, that's their second penalty of the night. It's gonna be first and 15 now for the Red Wings all the way back to the 30. Well, they've been bringing in Bakhti to be a, a lead back a little bit. They put him back there with Bannock and try to push some people around there and give Ray a little more space as those guys can bang out some linebackers. Grant Rendel, Renzelman is a uh, slot on the right side. Going in motion is Brunette. Oh, and, did uh, it again. Illegal procedure again on south. Looked like it was uh, James Boutel well, taking off. Watch him number 72 at the end of the line. <laughs> Oops. Hard to miss that one. You know, we don't always want to call their names, but that one was pretty obvious. Well, this is not good. First and 20. And South marching backwards. Two wings on either side behind the tackles. Kabai looking on a deep out. Looking for Brunette, but overshoots the receiver. It goes incomplete. Like the Make play call. Yep, yeah, got to get, gotta get those yards. Yeah, and that was the, uh, you had the receiver open there, just a little bit too much mustard. Everybody come by. Second down play. Might not be a bad idea on that first down though to try to go get half of it, you know, get 10 and then you still have uh, two more downs to pick up 10 yards. Yeah, I like the play call, I mean he was there, but I definitely, uh, definitely like the, uh, I agree with you, maybe go with Ray that first time. Kabai rolling, looking, got a deep out. Oh, receiver slipped down and the defensive back made a good cut on the ball. The defender was, uh, 34, he's not on our roster. When you know it, I want to give the kid credit. Incomplete is the play. Okay. And it's third down. Curtis Wilson was open in the in the flat there. But uh, again, Kabai decided to go with a little bit more there with Brunette. And uh, 
again, good, good defense by Preble. Three wide receivers off to the left this time. Wilson, the lone wide receiver, off to the right. Goodbye in the shotgun. Looking deep over the middle for Wilson. Ball is tipped and intercepted. Ball is tipped up in the air, making the interception and going for the touchdown is Alex Kraft. Boy, he made a nice run, picked up some good blocking from his mates down around the five yard line. You're gonna see it, oh, nice interception. Good pass defense by his uh, partner back there. We didn't catch his number, but watch the blocking. And then he's able to power his way in. The block made down there was by Chris Laux, number 23. Well, bad way to start off. Extra point attempt is good by Lucas Bartlett. And with 8.32 remaining, Preble on top, 7 to nothing. If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Back at South High School where uh, lightning in the form of Alex Kraft is struck for the Preble Hornets. He intercepted a pass by John Kabai at about the 40 yard line and uh, returned it all the way for a touchdown. It was a really a great play. Good teamwork back there too, Chris. We didn't catch the number of the kid who tipped the pass up in the air, and then Kraft caught it and took it back. Well, I think it kind of went off Wilson's hands there, and I think Kraft kind of tapped it to himself. And uh, you're right, not the way that you want to get started, and just kind of like a lull after that one to we'll see how the Red Wings respond. But the two penalties set up those situations. We had to throw the ball three times. Bouncing ball, taken at about the 21 yard line and running forward before being knocked down was Jacob Bannock. Bakhti and uh, Bannock remain in the backfield along with uh, Ray Smith. The first and 10 for the Red Wings. Ball spotted, we'll call it the 30 yard line even though it's just a tad short of the 30. There you see it tipped up in the air. And he was at the 40-yard uh, line, so give him a 40-yard return on that touchdown. Good replay, Scott, thanks a lot. Ah, is that a keeper or did he? Uh, yep, Kabai just took it up the middle. He thought maybe he fumbled it at first. Pickup of just a couple by uh, John. Makes it second and eight. South behind, seven to nothing on Alex Kraft, 40 yard interception return. Smith the deep back, he gets the handoff here, tries to pound it up the middle, but uh, good stop made by probably he had two men on the uh, ball carrier. Tony Framke. Another short gain is gonna make it third and seven. Fake handoff, Kabai rolling right, has a receiver. Gets Wilson, no, it's dropped and incomplete. No, it's intercepted, Marty. Oh, no. Taylor Vandenwoody. Oh, another one. Stepped right in front there, Marty, and picked that one off. Second interception in the last minute for Preble. 
Well, that one I'd like to get a look at. I mean, he obviously caught it. The referees called it that way. Man. John Kabai this year comes into the game, set four interceptions in seven games. He's got two quick ones here. Well, somebody other than Mendenwald on the carry that time. Chris Lauks, the man who made the nice block at the goal line for his uh, teammate, Alex Kraft. We're gonna get a look at that interception again. Boy, it looked like he had a receiver wide open down the middle, but he misfired on it and the interceptor just cut right in front. Second down and about seven. Mendenwald on the carry, tries to cut it back, but the South covers him up pretty well. Knocked down near the 36 yard line. Rissy there, Bakhti there. Gonna make it third and about four. Well, Preble already tried one pass. They usually average about three or four a game. Let's see what they do here. Mendenwall is the wing on the left. They can pitch it to him. He's got good blocking off on the tackle spot and uh, rips it down inside the 30 yard line for a first down, but we do have flags on the play. I think they're gonna get Mendenwald moving early there. This crew's gotta get a little quicker here. They gotta know what's going on. Illegal procedure on Preble will uh, negate that play. That's their first penalty of the night though, coach. And a not a timely one either. It's kind of unique there. He kind of pitched the quarterback there, pitched it back to uh, Mendenwald, and then he was the lead blocker. Well, all they're doing, you know, is putting him on a wing and then just, just a little pitch, you know, it's yep. the old uh, wing T kind of uh, offense and uh, get him a little bit of a running start, get another blocker in front of him, and uh, you got a running back of his quality. That's uh, usually money in the bank. And they're not going to lie about the fact uh, what they're doing here. We're just gonna try to ram it down there. Ram it down their throats, that's what they've been doing all year. Third and nine, fake to Mendenwald. Deep. Open. Oh, he's got a receiver wide open. Over his head, incomplete. Nice throw by uh, Steve Vandenavon, the quarterback. He had a wide open uh, p check down again. the field. Oh, just overthrown there. I thought they might run there, Marty, with... Uh, yeah, so did I. Because if you get close, you might as well go for a fourth game. down. Bingo. Instead, they're going to be forced to punt. And uh, once again, the South High D. Well, nobody holds. back for South either. They're going to wait and see. Make sure he's punting the ball. So far, South has been operating on their end of the field all night. And uh, unfortunately, they've had two interceptions down that area. Good punt, makes a South bounce, but uh, still is gonna be inside the 20 yard line at about the 16 or 17 yard line. South will have it right there. It's a 23 yarder that time. He had a 20 yarder before. It's consistent. Well, the uh, second interception didn't cost South, so they're right back where they started with. At the 8.32 mark, down seven to nothing. Lost a little bit of field position, but thank goodness no more points. Correct. They've shut down Smith so far. Inside handoff to the fullback, and he's hit right at the line of scrimmage and stood up. No gain that time. That was uh, Jacob Bannock on the carry. Tried to do the quick hitter, and that didn't work either. Right now, that uh, defensive line for uh, Preble is definitely taking away that uh, middle of the field. Well, the thing is, too, they're always leaving south in long second and third down situations, which uh, makes it difficult for uh, Kabai. Smith on a stiff arm, and then he's knocked down. And there's flags at the end of the play. I think they might get Ray Smith for a face mask penalty, actually. 
on the stiff arm attempt. Personal foul, face mask on Smith, that's right. Well, Ray picked up a couple of yards, but then he got called for the face mask penalty. Well, it should only be a half the distance to the goal kind of thing. No, because they're in the 20. Oh, oh, oh. Thought that was only inside the 20 they do that. You might be right, Marty. No, nope. they do do it all. Wow. I thought it's only inside the 20 that they get half the distance. I made right. my incorrect. Yeah. Well, it's all the way back to the eight yard line. Oh man. Second down in a bunch. Well, maybe they're gonna try to correct this here. Oh, you're right, Marty. They're half the distance. All right, they move it outside the 10 to the 11. So it's going to be a 17 yard uh, oh, for a first down. Motion again. Gosh. That's their fifth penalty of the quarter, Chris. And uh, there's 440 remaining. Preble on top, 7 to nothing. Boy, oh boy. Man. Should put it back on the uh, six yard oh, line. Nope, they're calling it off. Oh. No penalty. Yeah, they're probably thinking that. Uh, so who carried the ball? Nobody, they just started to, okay. they stopped the play. So All right. it's Brant starting over. All right, starting over. Second and too long. Goodbye, straight back, looking. Firing a deep pattern to his receiver, but incomplete. Wilson was the intended receiver, but uh, could not make the play. Kabai having a terrible start to the night. He's uh, 0 for 4 with two interceptions so far. And Marty, they got to have the passing game work to get those uh, linebackers and, you know, corners off that run attack. Just there's no no two ways to think about that, you know. Otherwise, it's just going to be difficult for Ray to run. Hand off to Smith, bounces it to the outside, gets a block, runs into a person. He's still on his feet now. He's going to come back the other way, and that uh, defender does make a nice tackle to stop Ray Smith from uh, going all the way back to this west sideline. Watch this boink. Didn't wrap him up. Now he's coming back this way. And a good tackle made by Chris Lalix. Well, we've called his name a few times. Yeah, he didn't go with the flow. He stayed back, which was the right thing to do. And fortunately, Salton blocking the back there. Uh, you know, all Jake that Reuter, I was thinking he might. All that running, one yard. <laughs> <laughs> well, it gets a bit of a south bounce, but still not good enough. Preble is going to have it first and 10 at about the 48-yard line. This has been not a good quarter for uh, South, but I'll tell you, if they go down, if they finish the quarter only down seven to nothing, Chris, that's a, a minor victory. The only thing it's good for is the fans in the uh, north end zone, <laughs> or end, end over here, because all the action's down here. Mendenwald takes the pitch off to the right. Is hit right, he actually hit in the backfield, but he was able to lunge forward uh, to make it a no gain on the play. Now yeah, Zelko on the play again. He's second down. He picked up a couple of uh, inches, but we'll call it uh, second and 10. Boy, they just look like a big train of coming. It's just uh, old fashioned football for Green Bay Preble, and we've seen this over the years. Fullback takes it right up the middle. Gets near the 46 yard line of South. So a nice pickup. Running back that time was uh, Jared Simon, number 43. 
Third down and about four. It's literally uh, the old smash mouth football by the Hornets. Yep, Woody Hayes. And a cloud of dust. Pitch to uh, the other running back. He busts through. He's over on his feet down near the 30 and knocked down inside South Territory at about the 28, 29 yard line. Chris Lauk's on the carry and making a strong run. Boy, he's been an impact player in the quarter. He could be the MVP of the quarter. Yeah, Most valuable right. treble. 17 yard run by Lauk's. You see him battling forward before he's finally knocked down. Mendenwall's the guy you got to keep an eye on. And uh, right now it doesn't look like he's in a ball game, Chris, unless he's the wing right. Nope. Another running back. This time it's uh, Andrew Smith. Powers off right tackle. Mendenwall's coming in with the play. Smith goes out. Four-yard pickup. Uh, Bringing in a whole stable of guys, aren't they, Chris? Mendenwall is the wing to the left. Look for a pitch going to the right. Nope, full back inside and pushed right back is Jared Simon. Nothing doing there. Getting up off the bottom of the pile was Steve Bakhti. He and Jacobs, two-headed monster there, pushing them back. It's going to be third down, make it about three. Just at the last second there, Marty, the officials moved the, bat, the football back about a half a yard just to get you confused. It's still at the 22, even though it's now on the 23. <laughs> <laughs> Mendenwall, wing to the left. He goes in motion, quarterback. Mendenwall has it. Boy, I never saw him got the ball, but he got it inside the 20. Wow, that was a great play. I think play. he does have the first down, but not by much. I was going with you. I don't know how he snuck that ball in there. It's going to be, well, that should be a first down. I don't know why we're going to measure. Well, there, what are we doing here? Well, the running back, I believe, Chris, uh, put it down like all good running backs do. Further ahead than maybe he was. See him reach <laughs> his arm out? Walter yeah. Payton was good for that. Yeah. What a great exchange, though, but I... They're marking it at about the 19, which would make it uh, measurable. Yeah, I thought he had it easy, but you're right with the change of the, the position there. It's gonna be a little bit different. He's got it by about half the football. Well, nice strong run by Mendenwald. And it's first and 10 for Preble, and they're deep in South Territory. There's 40 seconds and counting remaining in the first quarter. Mendenwald is the ring, wing to the left. They pitch it to Laux, and he battles forward, but only for about a yard. South playing real tough defense. Jacobs again. Pick up a one, I think that's gonna be the last play of the quarter. We're down to 10 seconds and counting. It'll be second and nine and ball will be spotted at the 18 yard line when we switch positions and that will be the quarter. At the end of one quarter play here at uh, Red Wing Field, it's Green Bay Preble seven, south nothing as these teams battle for a playoff position. Hey, new guy. Shovel, right? Yeah, Rake, and I'm not exactly new. I've seen some action. Yeah, what's your story? Hey, my last gig, I nearly got electrocuted, almost drowned. That guy never called 811 to see if it was safe to dig. Our guy calls every time he digs. It's quick and easy. Any tool can do it. Calling 811 gets your underground utility lines marked for free. It makes every project safer for everyone. Hey, safe digging is no accident. Always call 811 before you dig. The dream of education beyond high school 
the cost can put it out of reach. There is help. We are federal student aid, part of the U.S. Department of Education. Each year, we award $80 billion to all eligible students and families. Learn more at federalstudentaid.ed.gov. Don't get left behind. The most costly education is the one not begun. Federal Student Aid. Start here. Go further. They've been uh, controlling Mendenwald so far. Chris, he only has nine yards in five attempts. South has uh, 16 yards rushing in uh, seven attempts. So they've uh, been held down quite well by the Preble defense. Neither quarterback has done much. And a good shot. Lauchs is number 23. Mendenwall in motion. Fake handoff to him. Good rush. Fires a pass downfield. It's almost caught and dropped. Receiver down there was their fullback, Jared Simon, but he couldn't come down with it. Wow, I don't know how he snuck it in there, Marty. Vanden Avond is, uh, he's been on target. He hasn't gotten much help from his receivers, however. I thought for sure. Here you see the replay. You thought that South had this covered, but no. Well, you know what happened? That uh, front receiver, Charlie Rissy, I believe that was, Colin Johnson fell down. Third down and nine. Mendenwald is the uh, deep back. We'll fake a handoff to him. Fires a dart right in the middle. Oh, good defense played and it's incomplete. Colin Johnson stayed on his feet that time, Chris, and out battled the receiver. Well, a little surprised by these calls now, Marty. You're you know, basically muscling your way down the field. And they start chucking it up there. Yep. Field position and the turnovers have been the difference so far as Preble's banging on the door here. Vanden Avond is 0 for 4. He was 0 for 2 in the first quarter. They're going to try a field goal here by uh, Bartlett here. He's already hit a 36 and a 28 yarder this year, Marty, and this one's 35 yards. Good snap and set. Kick is up, rising to the uprights, and it's through. Well, that was a nice kick. We don't see many of those in high school football around here, but uh, great kick that time by Lucas Bartlett, and Preble now leads it 10 to nothing. Some dogs fetch and roll over. Some dogs take you to Spain and shopping for refrigerators, help you get through grad school, start your own business, go on hikes in the Grand Canyon. Some dogs you trust with your life every day. Being partners with a guide dog is having the freedom to do what you want in life. Nothing more, nothing less. And with your help, nothing need ever change that. Call 1-888-884-DOGS or visit guidedogs.com. Preble in the first quarter, Chris rushed 11 times for 43 yards. That's uh, less than four yards to carry. Salt doing a good job controlling the running game. Uh, I think the problem is the offense. You know, they haven't gotten anything with the passing game, and uh, generally that's been pretty effective. Yeah, and definitely got to keep those people on the north stands over here busy and, get, and have the red shirts on that side for this quarter. Line drive kick. Oh, it's going to stop short of the end zone. What a kick. And there's Smith a lot of white shirts. It. He's not going to get away. He's going to get knocked right at the five-yard line and knocked down. Making the tackle was uh, Taylor Vandenwood, number 22. Boy, Ray Four. got the ball, and all I saw was five white shirts there. I mean, did anybody touch one of the white shirts? Oh, it looks like they're going to spot the ball down. In, oh, they're going to mark it right at the five. Just when we ask for some better field position, it gets, gets worse. worse. <laughs> yeah, good point. Ray Smith is the lone setback. A lot of wide outs for the Red Wings. Smith on a fake handoff. Goodbye deep. Oh, tried to get his wide receiver, Andrew Walter, but he couldn't come down with it. Is that our oh, point? 99, pardon me, Jake Reuter, 6'5", 195. Boy, he's a big target out there. I think that's Kraft again, the one who had the interception with the tip. 
Good protection there by the offensive line to give Kabai a little extra time to shoot that pickle down the field. Well, they still have to respect Ray Smith, and when you do that little fake into the line, you know, hopefully that'll hold the linebackers a little bit. If uh, Kabai gets that pass up just a little bit, Reuter might have been able to make the catch, Chris. It's just a tad short. Pitch back to Smith. He's got the corner, and he... Boy. I believe we're going to get a clipping call on South. It looked like it was Curtis Wilson out there, number five. Absolutely. Aye, aye, aye. He had the corner. He had the first down. There was no need to do that. And good speed shown by Smith. Is that penalty number six? Well, let's see what we had here in the first. I believe we had five in the first quarter. Nope, four. Because that one was, remember, they, they right. then they blew it off. So it was four of those. So this is the fifth penalty. Goodbye. Get a completion yet tonight? Nope. He's 0 for 4. So 0 for 5, including this quarter, right? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Second down and 9. Smith alone set back. Pitch out to him, he's looking for the corner. Not much there, trying to cut it back, but uh, good pursuit by Preble. They knock him back to the five yard line. That's actually a loss of a yard, Chris. You know, we talk about uh, South controlling Mendenwald. Preble has done the same to uh, Ray. He, had, uh, he now has seven carries for 13 yards. Third down and 10. Fake handoff, Kabai rolling, rolling, steps up and throws, nobody in the area, and the pass goes incomplete. A lot of pressure on John that time, didn't yeah. get a good look down the field at all. Ray Smith did a nice job giving him a little extra time too, staying in there, but uh, South's gonna be kicking out of their own end zone, and this is scary. And once again, unless of a outstanding punt or a gust of wind, which we have none, or maybe a fumbled punt. <laughs> Preble's gonna have good field position again. Brunette back to punt. Good snap by Jacobs. Kick is away. And takes a Preble bounce all the way back to the 26 yard line. Oh man, that's a 21 yard punt. First down for Preble. Yeah. Not a good set of circumstances, Chris. Defense is really gonna have to step up now. Look at how tight those backs are to the line of scrimmage. Lauk's on the carry, gets it down to about the 22 or 23 yard line. Jacobs, Pakti, Johnson, and a big blanket of red there. Pick up a four yards by Laux. Mendenwald, the deep back, he takes it off tackle left, skirts to the outside, he's got the first down. And he's bumped out of bounds just outside the 10 yard line making the hit was Colin Johnson. Well, I can see when he gets that off tackle hole, boy, he hits it hard. If he's got a little bit of an opening, he can go. And he's big. Yeah, you're right. Big, fast guys. Reminds me of Tim Seifer when he played. There was a package that was pretty quick. Get him through the line of scrimmage. You know, that defense for South has been on the field a long time. And I'll do some adding in a minute, but uh, how long it's been, but it's been a too long. Oop. Hey, there's a break. Jumping offside for uh, Preble was uh, Chris Marcel. Be a five yard penalty on them. Scoreboard has just gone out. 
Yeah. We'll have to keep the, all the scoreboards back on. Now it's out. Now it's on. And it stays on. Preble at the line of scrimmage. They Mending should be wall playing. in motion. Inside handoff to Laux. He busted off, tackled. Barrels near the end zone before he's knocked down at about the five yard line. But a quick hitter. And he gained a good chunk of yardage on that play. They're going to spot it at about the six or seven. Second down and five, that's a pickup of about 10 yards, Chris. It's not getting any better. No, it's not. They got their running back, running game going now. Mendenwald on the carry, he's battling forward. He's gonna be near the first down yardage that he needs. Coach Proc now just loves this. Well, they're starting to take control of the line of scrimmage is what they're doing. Absolutely. It's going to be third down and one. Four yard gain by Mendenwald. And we got a timeout on the field. Timeout south with 8.48 remaining until halftime. Preble on top, 10 to nothing. I recycle and refurbish old computers to help preserve our environment. I got involved. I boosted tourism in my farm community by painting 55 barn quilts. I got involved. I enjoy gardening and love delivering a fresh supply of produce and flowers to a local shelter. I got involved. Young volunteers have a winning spirit that we think is worth celebrating. Middle and high school students, ask your school principal about applying for a Prudential Spirit of Community Award. Volunteer. Chris, when we uh, talk about Wisconsin football sometimes, you know, with their big offensive line, you know, they talk about in the second half how they start to take control of that line of scrimmage and establish their running game. It looks like Preble is starting to do that late in the first or middle of the second quarter. Well, we said before, time and possession is you know, about 10 minutes of the uh, 14 minutes the South defense has been out there. So it's been tough and rough for the uh, defense right now, but... Uh, we need a stand right here on third and fourth and short. Mendenwald on the carry, trying to take it wide. Trying to cut it back and he's hit and falls into the end zone, touchdown. Oh, he made a good run. He was going against two or three south defenders but able to get it in the end zone. Mendenwald showing his metal there, going three yards for the touchdown. With that score, it's now 16 to nothing. And uh, Bartlett in to attempt the extra point. Good replay, Scott. There you see him get to the corner of the end zone. That extra point is up and good. And that does make it 17 to nothing with 8.40 remaining in the first half. Explore her grandeur. Appreciate her beauty. Protect her for tomorrow. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries. Call 877-2-RECYCLE or visit us online at calltorecycle.org. Unless uh, South would make the playoffs, Chris, this is our final, well, it is our final regular season game. It uh, may be our final football game of the season, again, depending on uh, South, or I think South is the only chance of our city teams of making the playoffs. Uh, but uh, this is it. We are not going to be at Lakeland two weeks from tomorrow for their game against Concordia, I believe it was. And we've mentioned it a, a lot this year, but... Uh Having North and South both home at the same time is definitely a bummer. 
and put a crimp in our style as well. Another line drive kick is picked up by Johnson. Salt is going to end up with their best field position of the night. It's going to be near the 45-yard line. Hey, you better sign that boy up for the baseball team. Give I him a glove. I'm not a, quite sure what's up with that, but uh, we'll take it as uh, South has some breathing room. I don't know why they don't blast it down there. We saw that he can kick some long field goals and things like that. They, I see they don't want to kick it to Ray Smith, but... My gosh, when you're up by 17 points. Well, that strategy worked the last time when he got Ray back inside the five. Yep, her. Nice replay on that kickoff return. Smith right up the middle. Gets it all the way up to the 50-yard line. Give him a gain of six on that run. Ooh, and a little, little anger shown there by Ray. He, want, he does not want his, his last home game to be played here with a loss. Right at midfield and a good hard run by uh, Ray. Well, right after the touchdown and extra point, we went to a commercial. Chris Hine had the whole team off on the sideline talking to him, I'm sure, and trying to give him still some inspiration in there. Starting to play some football. Look at him, Ron. Inside handoff to Bannock, and uh, he's going to have a first down. Tell blocking big, created enough hole there. There you see him. White pushing. That was, that was Ray Smith on that run, Chris. Yeah. Ball is down at the 45 of Preble. And they're screaming first down up here, Marty. And I got to be honest with you, I don't recall a first down for South. That's number one, they tell us. Ray Smith trying to cut it back. Look at Still him battling forward. A lot of help by the Preble defenders. Push him back at about the 43, maybe the 42. Look at the life in South. Down 17 to nothing. So, I mean, I know they love their coach. And uh, they'll do anything for them. And I think they're trying to respond. And hopefully we can get out of here with some points. Bannock the up back. Brunette and Wilson. Wide receivers right and left. Goodbye under center. Hand off to Smith. Quick hitter. And gets it over the 40. Down to about the 37 or 38 yard line. Well, they're moving it back again, Marty. They always do that. I think that we've had this, these guys before, and these are the guys that always do that. I think this is the Manitowoc crew. Yeah. You still got, uh, can still run the ball here. You got third and three and a half. First back through, Bannock runs forward. He's got the first down at about the 32, but uh, they'll probably move it back to the 33. <laughs> Watch him. Yep. <laughs> there you see him pound forward. Oh, right. come on. He's almost to the 31. First and 10 south ball spotted on the 32. Smith the deep back. He takes the inside handoff. Battles forward to the 30 yard line. Short gain. Ran into Aaron White, his 200 pound guard that time. Second down and long for South. Be about eight yards. Kabai at center as he's been all night. Wilson is the wide, is the wide receiver wide left. See Brunette if, wide right. See if they go wide this time, Marty. Hand off on a stretch play to Smith, trying to get the corner, but a great pursuit, pursuit by Preble. Knock him down inside the 30. And about the 28 or 29, little gain. They're quick. Yeah, and something you people may not know about Green Bay Preble is uh, they're also a, just a power in track for a number of years, and uh, you know, that's something they combine is their uh, football strength and speed. And they transfer it in spring over to the track team. Kabai, quick swing pass to Brenzelman. Good spin move. He got off of that tackle and gets down near the 20-yard line. Garrett Brenzelman. I really like that play. Hey, this is our first completion of the night, Chris. I like this play because they're so tight in Good there. Good block there. Spin move. 
Just going to say they're so tight in there to do some of that swinging things or they can even run something with a reverse for uh, Ray Smith because they, they just pursue so much. Smith the deep back. Takes the handoff and hit in the backfield and spun down. Good defensive play made by Chris Lauks. Man of life. Nothing going there, Chris. Oy, oy, oy. Threw him for a loss of two. It's almost like anything that's a little slower developing is having a hard time going. You know, if they do the quick hitters, they can get into the hole quick enough and maybe right. pop one, but uh, they're having trouble going wide. Good protection. Passes off the fingertips of uh, Travis Brunette. Good delivery by uh, John Kabai. John so far tonight is one for eight in the ball game with uh, that being a nine yard completion to uh, Renzelman. He just did that, but uh, the big play was the uh, interception that was run back for a touchdown. Third and 12, ball on the 22. He's going deep to Wilson here. Wilson is wide left. Fake nope. handoff, pitch out to Smith, trying to cut it back. But good tackling by uh, Preble. And Smith uh, able to dive forward, but uh, only to the 20-yard line. It's going to be fourth down. Ray has nine carries so far this quarter for 20 yards. Fourth and 10. South going for it. Jake Reuter, the tight end on the uh, right side. Kabai fakes the handoff. Deep to Smith, and it's intercepted in the end zone. Making the interception was Alex Kraft again. That's his second of the night. I'll tell you, you know, I don't know if you noticed that. The, the wide receiver on the left went down and in. Yipper. And the side of the field was wide open. I was looking, where's the wide receiver coming over there? He never made it. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. It was almost like I thought the same thing. It was a clear out play, and then you bring somebody back across to the left, and uh, you're right, there was nobody there. And uh, oh boy. As a result, a nice drive by South ends up with no points. And uh, Preble has the ball. Mendenwald powering forward only for a couple of yards. Going to be second down and eight. The five minute and 17 second drive for South. Gave that defense a little bit of rest. And most of it done on the ground. They did have a big third and seven play where they finally got a completion, but uh, otherwise it was uh, basically Ray Smith and a couple runs by uh, Jacob Bannock. Second and eight. Pitch to Laux. He scoots around the corner and he's out near the 40 yard line. Matt Pyshek, number 20 on the carry, Chris? I think so. Yeah, maybe we can catch his number. Yep. yep, you're right, number 20. Boy, way to get him out of a yeah, deep hole. Boy, ball is spotted right on the 40. It's an 18 yard pickup. When you need, you get a three and out. Can't get it. That was Matt Pyshek on the carry. Quick pitch, Mendenwald, oh, knocked down right at the line of scrimmage. Great tackle made by Matt Hendricks, I believe that was. I don't think he ran very well that time, Marty. He sure ran uh, east and west, or technically west, a lot farther than he probably should have. Probably should have turned it upfield to try to gain a couple yards. He tried to get to the outside, but that wasn't gonna happen. I think he's used to taking that ball to the outside and juking and going, but uh, South doing a good job of tackling yep. here tonight for the most part. Second down and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. South trails it, 
17 to nothing. Uh, we're under two minutes left until halftime, 153. And we get a whistle and a timeout by Preble. That's their first timeout. So with 147 remaining until halftime, Preble on top, 17 to nothing. Back at South High School, there you see Preble on top, 17 to nothing. Uh, game has big implications for both teams. The winner has an excellent shot of then making the playoffs. Uh, the team that loses tonight still has a chance if they can win their final conference game next week. Mendenwald in motion, fake pitch off, inside handoff to Pyshek, and he lunges forward to about the 44 yard line. Pyshek will gain a four. It's going to be third down and six. I think Coach Proc now would, would uh, just as soon keep the ball. Points right now are bonus for him, but uh, I think his goal is to just run this pickle down. And that's what they'll do it because we're rolling down to a minute. There's 112, 111, 110. Something Mendenwald in motion, pitch back to him. He's looking. Good penetration and a nice tackle made by Steve Bakhti. Almost could have got him for a leg whip, Chris. Fourth down. Timeout no south. And that's a good timeout. That timeout will force Preble to punt with about 10, well actually 101 remaining in the half. Yeah, so south will get it back with hopefully some uh, good return. Could, could have a chance at a touchdown. Yeah, I got to have a little magic here, a little magic. A little Red Wing magic. One thing that uh, South has done, we mentioned that, you mentioned it in the opening, by the way, I thought it was a really good comment. As the season has progressed, their defense has gotten better, especially in terms of the fundamentals, you know, tackling being the biggest. Yeah, they really, for the most part, you can't blame the defense much. They've been put in short field situations, they've been on the field for an awful long time in this first half, and, you know, I'm thinking they're close to, oh, 16 minutes maybe, 17 of the 24, so uh, been out there a long time, but uh, it's tough when you got that short field to stop them all the time. No kidding. Charlie Rissey is back deep. He's had a 20 and a 23 yard punt. We could use another one. Could use a block too. Good pressure up the middle, but Preble blocks quite well. Catch is made and dropped, now he's retreating. And he's going to get knocked down at the five-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Not a good return that time. Colin Johnson, that was, on the return. Now you're better off just running it out, Chris. Yep. You're going to mark it at about the five-yard line. Well, it all started when he didn't feel the punt cleanly. Chris is like, they're too fast. Well, I'm just going <laughs> to say that. Uh, Take it up the field. I'm not so sure about this, but uh, like I said, we need a little magic. In the shotgun. Kabai pulling it down and running forward. He's going to get it right to the line of scrimmage, maybe. Hoping that something would open up and he could maybe get past that first set there with everybody going deep. But uh, again, a good play by Prebles. Number 54, Camden Milton. Kabai looking to the sideline. You can't quite see him there. You see him come into your shot, but he was getting the play from the bench. I was a little surprised that he was in the shotgun in that uh, first play. A 
it's well, a little I thought dangerous. Might run. I thought it's trying to make a big play. Inside handoff Bannock. to the fullback, Bannock, and uh, he gets it out over the 10 yard line. That's going to be the half. After one half of play here at South High School, Preble on top, 17 to nothing. Sure, my neighbors Gene and Louise, they may be superheroes with superpowers, but that doesn't make them so super at saving energy and money. Honey! I may not be able to harness the power of the elements, but I save significant cash and help the environment with appliances, electronics, and windows featuring the Energy Star label. So discover your own energy-saving superpowers. Go to ASE.org slash consumers. Mom, Dad's making fondue again. has changed a lot since 1970. That's when Congress created the Securities Investor Protection Corporation, SIPC. For 37 years, we've remained focused on one thing, helping investors in the unlikely event that their brokerage firm encounters difficulties. We've helped more than 600,000 investors recover over $14 billion in assets. We're the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. There for you then, here for you now. Teenage boy, you want to have sex? Think, 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 man. Think about this. It's not just you. Think about the other people involved. Think about the girl, her family, her thoughts, her future. You know, she has goals. What about the respect for the values that your parents gave you? What about the little kids in your neighborhood who happen to look up to you? Think about that before you take that step. Think about yourself. Think about the things you want to do. Don't you have goals? How about thinking ahead? Just think and wait. Popcorn just went down the chute. <laughs> Still got kernels in the mouth, though. Perfect timing. Well, we've got some interesting stats. And Chris, when Ooh. you saw that Preble only had 98 yards in the first half, you're somewhat surprised. Quite surprised in the fact that the score is 17 to nothing. You have 98 yards and a half. You'd think that uh, it'd be 7 to 7, or, you know, South might be up, you know, 14 to 6 or something like that. But unfortunately, South only has 64 uh Yards themselves on one and nine passing, 55 yards rushing. 
And uh, in 20 carries, that's not uh, very good production. No, and we 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 mentioned it many times in that first half, Marty. Field position and turnovers, uh, definitely the key of that uh, that half. And uh, unfortunately for Sheboygan South, they're going to have to uh, kick it off to uh, Preble and. Maybe they can uh, turn the tide and force some turnovers the other direction. In the first quarter, uh, we had mentioned that Preble had uh, 43 yards rushing and 11 attempts. That's less than four yards a carry, but uh, they upped that quite a bit in the second quarter, uh, rushing 10 times for 55 yards, which, of course, is uh, five and a half yards a rush. Uh, for the first half, and those 98 yards, they rushed the ball 21 times, and uh, that's a pretty good average. But uh, South defense has done the job. The problem is they've always been put on the spot deep in uh, their own territory and uh, really under the gun. Yeah, no question about that. Not much uh, better news from the north side of town is their halftime score is 28 to nothing as well. Uh, the scoring went like this. Uh, Alex Kraft intercepted a John Kabai pass at the 40 and returned for a touchdown. Bartlett kicked the extra point, and then uh, later in the for first quarter, Bartlett kicked the long field goal, about a 30-yarder or so, and uh, that made it 10 to nothing. And then in the second quarter, Garrett Mendenwald uh, from three yards out rushed it in for another touchdown in Preble, and that's where we're at right now. It's 17 to nothing, Preble on top. Did you mention what Mendenwald had for uh, yards? Ooh, I've got that information too. He has 11 carries. For 28 yards, they've held him down. The top rusher for uh, Preble has been uh, Chris Laux. He has 35 yards and five carries. And then right at the end of the half, Matt Pyshek got the ball a couple of times. One of them was an 18-yarder. He finished with two carries for 22 yards. Uh, their quarterback, Steve Vandenavond, was 0 for 4 passing in the half. Sal's a big man. Ray Smith, 14 carries. He touched the ball a lot, but only had 33 yards. And uh, the other top rusher for South was Jacob Bannock with uh, four carries for 20 yards. John Kabai had uh, two carries for two yards. He was one for nine passing. Uh, the key stat in his passing was the three interceptions. The third one coming on a deep pass into the end zone that was picked off again by Alex Kraft. So the passing game and the rushing game has not been going well here for South. And uh, Peter Moore talked to his uh, mom and dad prior to the game. Kathy's a former Jefferson teacher, taught there many years. She's now at Horseman. Hope to see him many times in the second half, kicking extra points and kicking off. I hope he has a busy half. I hope he has to rest his leg a lot tonight. Kick is uh, bouncing, taken at about the 17 yard line. On the return Ooh. is Taylor Vandenwood. And again, a nice play on defense. I think that was Zelko that flew in there. Watch this. Woo! Zelko. That was fun. First and 10 Preble at the 19 yard line. So uh, South has them deep. Let's hope they can keep them back there. And Get a punt and get the ball near midfield and punch her down and in. Want to set the tone for your uh, second half right here. Oh, good hit there, but uh, moving forward for a few yards was Garrett Mendenwald. Steve Bakhti. We've been a joy watching him play for Sheboygan South. I'll tell you, he's, he's a good one. Watch him just rush in here and pursue. The slow-mo, okay, we got uh, her working. <laughs> We're going to rush in there. Before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, he rushes in there. <laughs> Looks like he just barely gets in. Look at him. Whoosh. He gobbled him up. Nice replay. Mendenwald, Whoa, oh, he stacked up right at the line of scrimmage there. I think it was Bakhti maybe hit him up high and pushed him back. Who? <laughs> Steve Bakhti, number 20. Not much there, maybe a yard. That was about it. Well, they're starting to give him the ball now, Chris. Third down and six. Third 
Mendenwald the deep back in this formation. Roll out, looking deep. He's got his wide receiver out there, but not able to catch up to it was Chris Laux. Triple coverage back there. It was three of us and one of them. And those are good odds. We like those odds. Yeah, and I gotta be honest with you, I thought for a minute you might just split all three of them. <laughs> catch it with one hand. Well, we got what we wanted, three and out. Or is it a four and out? Anyway, they're punting. Yep. Not too well either tonight. A 20-yarder, a 23-yarder, and a 36-yarder. Let's hope we can make a catch. He's got his gloves on. Is that Lester Hayes put all that stick him on? No Oakland Raiders? The Raiders. Well, he's getting away from it. And it takes a south bounce, and it's going to be downed by Alex Chamberlain at about the 48-yard line. First and, first and 10 south, they're going to mark it at the, oh boy, mark it back again. Jeepers. First and 10 will call it the 48. They always got to put it in between the lines. Am I complaining again? I like the field position. We saw a nice drive. Bakhti up the quarter. middle. He's got room. He's through the line. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and in for a touchdown. No flags on the field. Bakhti bursting no. through the middle. Bannock. 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 Number 40, Jacob Bannock. Let's see that one again. Watch the blocking up front. Oh, good hit on the linebacker, and he slips by one tackle, and then he's off and running. Jacob Bannock, give me the ball more often. Well, you mentioned something earlier, Marty. The quick hitters are the ones that were successful, and right off the bat they go to him and uh, got right through there. 52-yard run. Jacob Bannock. Line drive kick by Peter Moore is through. And with 10.09 remaining in the third quarter, South is on the board. Wow. Your heart rate's a little fast. Cause of death, acute myocardial infarction. Have you tried a weight loss program? Likely caused by type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Still smoking? Victim's lungs are black and scarred. You can get a physical exam now. Or you can get one later. Talk to your doctor about a physical. Learn how to lower your risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease and live a healthier life. Back at South High School where lightning is struck and it wasn't Ray. <laughs> Jacob Bannock got through the line of scrimmage and boy, he was, he was on a mission. Wow, you get a three and out, you ask for that and let's get a score on our first drive. You score on the first play. How do you Kick like is that? taken at the 20, spins off a of one tackler and then gets it up over the 30. On the return was uh, Taylor Vanderwood, and he was the one that got uh, labeled on the last kickoff. Did a little better job here, didn't get labeled quite as hard. No, he's run away, I'm getting out of the way of the, the initial hit. First and 10 on the 31. Preble in their familiar tight formation. Mendenwald is the wing right in motion. Gets the pitch, off tackle, and he's gonna get stacked. Look at Bachney, drag him back right at the line of scrimmage, picks up maybe a yard. You know what I see here, Chris? Something wide. Defensive ends, hold your spots. Look at that replay, watch him, Bakhti, pull him back. Look at him. <laughs> Ducking under center, Steve Vandenavode. Fake inside handoff to Pyshek. He's through the line of scrimmage. Struggling forward near the 40. And he's pushed back right at the 40 yard line. He's gonna be short of the first down. It's gonna be third and one. Matt Pyshek has uh, provided a good spark off the bench, Chris.
in that first half, Preble used five different uh, ball carriers. Just Third a, down and one. Just a little bit of counter action there. Let's see what happens here. Mendenwald the deep back. Look for him to get it. Hand off to him up the middle. He's got the first down and slips through. Boy, he almost busted it, Chris. Gobbled up at about the 46 or 47 yard line. You know, that happens sometimes. You put everybody up on the line of scrimmage and all of a sudden he pops it through. Uh, it's a good thing they got a good one in the back there, Colin Johnson, just in case. First down and 10 for Preble. Ball's on, on the 47 yard line. Mendenwald probing, gets it up to the 50 before he's knocked down. Seems like a patient runner at times. I mean, he only kind of knows what to do back there. I think that was a good uh, description of what he was doing, trying to figure out where to go, but yet moving forward, using those big horses in front of him. It's going to be second and about seven. Mendenwald has uh, five carries so far for 15 yards in the quarter. So they're putting him to work. He's the deep back in this formation. Inside handoff. Trying to cut it back was the running back, but he's gobbled up at about the 49 yard line. I like this a little better. Third and uh, about five. Lauk's on the carry. Like this much better. Ball spotted on about the 48 yard line. Short gain. It's third down and about five. Tight formation. Mendenwald, the guy you gotta keep an eye on. He's the wing to the left. Lauk's in motion. Pitch out to him, Lauk's. He busts through a line of scrimmage. He's down to the 30 and he's knocked down inside the 25 yard line. Boy, oh boy, he's quick. Better watch it. Picks a block on the outside, and that's where he slipped through. That was a good block thrown out there. That's what sprung him. First and 10. Ball down at the 25-yard uh, line. Fullback trying to take it up the middle was Simon. Second down, oh man, pickup of almost four yards. Ball down at about the 22 yard line, make it the 21 yard line, a pickup of four on the play. Second down and six. Preble on the march again, all on the ground. Mendenwald bouncing, cuts it back up the middle, gets it down near the 15 yard line. Third down, pick up a four yards on, the, make it five yards on that play. It's gonna be third down and one. Less than a yard actually, Chris. Quarterback keeper? Yep. Nope. nope. Inside handoff to the fullback. Simon, and he barrels down for the first down. And they're doing it, Chris. Boy, one yard, eight yards, seven yards, three yards, two yards, 23 yards, four yards, five yards. Everything's going forward. And Preble well, needed to respond to the momentum change, the three and out, and the score is doing what they need to do. They're just driving down the field against this South High defense. Pitch out to Laux, cuts it back. There's a penalty flag. He Dives down near the end zone, but he didn't. He is short, but there is a flag down on the field. I think they're going to get Reed Curtis. Reed Curtis on the hold. 89. 
Well, we won't mention who it was. I will, because he's, he's from the team in the white. There you see it, a pitch out. Oh, wow, that was a pretty chintzy call, if you ask me. The guy <laughs> turned his back. <laughs> what are you going to do? Sure, right. We'll take it, though. I'm not complaining. No. If there's any, I was just thinking, we need a turnover or a penalty or something to stop hey, Chris, the forward can, moment. Uh, Scott, can you play that again before we maybe get into the next play? And if you watch it, fans, watch the defender for South turn his back to try and make a play, and that's when the official throws the flag. I don't think it should have been a penalty call myself. Okay, watch uh, 89. Yeah, he's got him in the back. Uh, yeah, he might have had a hold of his jersey, too. You're yeah. right. Ball is outside the 20. They get the 22, 10-yard penalty. Thanks, Scott. Pitch to Mendenwald. He's going to get hit in the backfield back at about the 26. Finally, they get him for a loss. Yeah, and I was just thinking, don't let him get out there. Don't let him get out there. Don't let him get out there. And a good hey, job. The guy moved it back for us, too, now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is the crew that, I think the ball, they always seem to like place it where the knee is and not where the ball is. I don't know. Second down and 24 yards to go. Wow, big, big penalty against Preble there. We're down to 4.15 remaining in the quarter. If nothing else, they're chewing up the clock. They've run a lot of plays this possession. Inside handoff to the fullback, and he fights forward to about the 21. On the carry that time was Jared Simon. Good job of defense there for the Red Wings. One more time, boys, one more time. Gonna be third and long, about 19 yards to go. But they are deep, you know, might not be bad to uh, rush it again, maybe get that field goal kicker out. Well, he made a, this is a little bit deep now. Well, he made a 35 yarder before, and this year he's made a 36 and a 28, so uh, you he's know. He's been he, there. Yeah, you know, he's got to, he's got to foot. Taylor Vanderwood is uh, wide to the left. Lauk's in motion. Watch Lauk's, Lauk's. Over the middle, and they're going to get pass interference. On south, I believe it is. They had him triple covered, and uh, quarterback Steve Vandenavond tried to drill it right in the middle and uh, wound up getting the call. Here you see it. Lauks comes across the middle. Tell you, Laux was way on the left side, and he was wide open. Well, he went in motion from the right side to the left, and then he looped right around over the middle, like you said. And worst of all, it's an automatic first down. Oh, boy. There you see it. Well, oh, well. First down. The uh, chain gang's got him. Oh, no, it's still third. I thought he said it was first. He waved first, but the chain gang's got third. They got issues. We got issues. Log slips one tackle, trying to get by another, but then he's hammered down near the six-yard line. You know, the chain gang, i has got to get down there because I think he can get a first down. He can. He can get and it then, down to about the two-yard line. No, he can get it to about the half-yard line, but they didn't move it. Well, what the heck? I'm not even going to talk about this anymore. They can't get a first down there. That the chain never mind. The chain gang when they called the first down the chain gang didn't move. And so the chain gang should be on the ten and a half yard line and now it's second and about six and they should should have about second and about eight. It's all messed up here Marty. Menden wall barrels down to about the five not much of a gain there. It's going to be third down and about two. But it should be third and about four. <laughs> the point is they didn't reset the uh, chain gang when they gave them the first down. Well. Jeez. This could be big if he's short, if he's short here. Because it should be get him down to the half yard line, but instead it's like third and two. Inside handoff to Laux. And he changes direction and gets it down near the end zone. And he's in. 
Now it doesn't matter. Last effort by Lauchs got him into the end zone. He was going off to the left and cut it back and got it into the end zone. 69 yards. 69 yards. Cheapers, creepers. Well, a good piece of running that time by Laux. Here you're going to see it. Watch him at the end. He cuts back. He's going off. Now he cuts back, and there he falls into the end zone. He made a good stretch with the football to get it into the zone. Extra point is kick strong and straight and good. And with 148 remaining in the third quarter, it's 24 to 7. I'll tell you, that was a back breaking drive right there. Cordless power tools and rechargeable batteries help you do projects all over the house. Inside, outside, they let you work anywhere. But did you know that by recycling old rechargeable batteries, you can help protect the environment? It's true. When they no longer hold a charge and need to be replaced, old rechargeable batteries should be recycled. It's easy and it's free. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries wherever you buy cordless power tools. Go to calltorecycle.org to find a collection site near you. 15 plays, Chris, 69 yards for Pribble on that uh, answer to the 52-yard touchdown run by Jacob Bannock. And, uh, boy, I tell you, that was a backbreaker. You needed a stop, get the ball back, and keep the momentum on your side of the field, but uh, that certainly isn't the case now. And 8 minutes and 21 seconds off the clock. Ooh, and they commanded first-half possession, too. Yes. That was the drive of that, the night. And it uh, could be the drive to the playoffs for Green Bay Preble. Yeah. Now, we were talking at halftime, they've made the playoffs for forever? Um, no, that's, that was about Falls. Okay, Chibuigan Falls has made it forever. Yeah. That kickoff goes out of bounds. Uh, a penalty and South will get it up about the 30 or 35 yard line. Well, we've mentioned it before, the F. RCC, as they call it now, is led by Ashwabanon, De Pere, and Bayport. All Bay schools. And, uh, it's going to be first and 10 for South at the 30 yard line. I think, uh, make it the 35. <laughs> Each level of football has their. Uh, Kickoff penalty at a different distance. And for some, it's choices. Yeah, I think we got an illegal procedure on South. Yep, we do. Well, the other big play in that drive was that pass interference call near the end zone, and that's when, uh, you know, we were talking about, or you were mostly, that the down marker was the linesman with the, the downs and all that stuff wasn't correct. But in the end, it didn't matter anyway because they scored the touchdown. First and 15, ball on the 30 now. Smith alone set back. Kabai looked like he wanted to run the option, but uh, he got taken down quickly. And in the backfield, he's going to lose yardage on that. Ray Smith in the quarter has no carries. Of course, South only has now two offensive plays in the quarter. A 52-yard run. And a loss of a, I'll make it a no-gainer for Kabai. Actually, only two plays because that other one was uh, a penalty. Second down at 15. Kabai looking. Fires it over the middle. Did he make the catch? No, they're saying incomplete. Good attempt, however, by Brian Devely. And I'll tell you, that's the third time that they've had tip balls at uh, two of them they intercepted. This one uh, was close. There it is. Whoop. Yeah, I think it hit the ground too. Well, Kabai has uh, not had a good night tonight. Third down and 15. 
I think his receiver looked more open than he really was. He had a very small window to get it in on that last attempt. Goodbye straight back, looking, he's got a man open on the out pattern, but Renzelman can't make the adjustment to come back. It wasn't a very good throw by John, and it does go incomplete, and South will have to punt it away. He was open too. Ooh, he was more than open. Fourth down, 53 seconds remaining in the quarter. Preble on top, 24 to seven. You know, we've heard a lot about Garrett Mendenwald, but I'll tell you, they've controlled him. Yep, the Lauks has been good. He's been the man tonight. Hit and dropped at the 35, a good uh, takedown by Charlie Rissey. And the ball's gonna be spotted right at the 35. It'll be first and 10, Preble. Ball's at the 35, 35 yard punt, and uh, <laughs> nowhere to go. Gotcha. Well, last time Preble had the ball, they kept it for 15 plays. Vandenavud, pitch back to Lauks. Streaking around the side. It's going to pick up about five yards on the play. He's showing good speed there. Yes, he has. Lauks is a 5'11", 181 running back. It's a good size. They're marking it out to the 41-yard line. That's a six-yard pickup. Again. Pitch back to Lauks again. He's through the line of scrimmage and out near the 50 for a first down. And that's, well, they stopped the clock to set it, but it will be a first down. Ball is going to be spotted down at about the 48. And that'll be the quarter, Marty. What looks so good at the 10-09 mark is right back to where we were. Yep, and that is the quarter. Through three here at South High, Preble on top, 24 to seven. Tony Watt. Just rock and roll. What? Do something simple? It says rock and roll. Are you serious? Yeah, man. I love rock and roll. Okay, dude. Some mistakes in life are permanent. Like hearing loss. To learn how to protect your hearing, visit asha.org. Trying to figure out some uh, statistics here in the third quarter. Uh, Chris Lauks had uh, six carries for 46 yards. Uh, Mendenwald had uh, eight carries for 18 yards. Those were the two big rushers for uh, Preble. As we start uh, fourth quarter action, fourth down, first down, pardon me, for Preble. Ball at the 48 yard line. Pitch back to, uh, woo. Ball carrier was gonna be Pyshek, and I think he's happy they blew the whistle. <laughs> I agree with you. I was thinking the same. Steve Bakhti was not very happy. He would have flattened that pie. Watch number 20 in red. Shek. Woo. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. I heard the whistle. <laughs> Penalty on Preble. It's gonna be first and 15. You know, Preble tried one pass in the entire third quarter. And it was a pass interference. <laughs> How unlucky can you get? Jeez. 
actually tried to. Second back is Mendenwald. Slips by one tackler, but uh, doesn't get much. Gets it out to about maybe the 46 yard line. See if they spot him at the 40. Yeah, we'll call it the 46. Pick up a three. Second down. Preble trying to uh, get that playoff spot sewed up, as is South, but they have the upper hand right now, 24 to seven. Pitch off to Lauk, slips by one tackler, ducks his head and gets it into Red Wing territory at about the 48. Good run by Lauk. Pickup of four yards that time. Well, they're grinding it away again, Chris. If nothing else, they're certainly taking a lot of time off the clock, which... Uh, I know I haven't said much, but I'm just trying to think of, you know, things like Ray Smith they're thinking about right now, and John Kabai as the clock is ticking away, and, you know, possible playoffs, and all the years of playing, and, you, you know, they're just helpless of what they can do as uh, this little preble machine is, 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 you know, just meticulously going down the field, and most of all... They're not, matriculating. Yeah, they're <laughs> kicking up... Uh, time off the clock and little but bits of plays. I mean, they haven't had a big strike tonight. I know there's a timeout by South, but you know. That was actually on Preble. But anyway, I was, you know, I was going to say one thing that we really didn't think about in the opening. You know, we talked about how important your defense is to win championships, but sometimes your offense can serve as a, as a defensive machine in that you keep right. your guys, you keep the ball, you keep the other team from having it. And uh, Preble certainly did that in the third quarter. No, it's it really is a, a weapon, and we know, you know, we know about Coach Proc now. This is how he's basically run it. Not exactly. It seems like he's he's always had big tight ends and things like that over the years, or maybe one streaky wide receiver. Hey, it was 20 offensive plays to four in the third quarter for Preble. Yeah, unfortunately, one of the four plays for for uh, South was a touchdown. I mean, that's how I mean fast that was, and then obviously the other three offensive plays. Vandenavud rolling to the right, looking, looking, throws on the run, passes, tipped, and drops incomplete. Oh Almost making the interception was Colin Johnson, but when he missed and it tipped off of his hands, there were two Preble receivers right there, but neither one of those guys could come up with it either, so it does fall incomplete. Oh, 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 couldn't quite get it. That was only the sixth pass of the night. They have yet to complete one. Fourth neither, down. neither team has completed too many, Marty. Well, South does have one. <laughs> <laughs> it's one more in Preble. That's got to be something. How can't this be a delay? It's got to be a delay. But you know what? From this spot, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt matter. Yet. No. Late getting into the formation was Mitch Ruiz. Uh, Take off the iPod. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> two, right, uh, two receivers back for South. Wilson and uh, I think it's Johnson. A good hard kick. They're both looking at each other. Who's going to take it? Is it going to get in the end zone? No. Oh, man, what a great punt by Lucas Bartlett. And South is going to be deep in their own territory. You know, we haven't seen South with two men back, I think, all year. And uh, it looked like it, because they looked at each other. You got it? No, you take it. Okay, no, no, you get it. Oh, oh, oh shoot. You know, the... All the way back inside the five. The point of putting the second person back there... Is to pick it up. So that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that's exactly what did happen. And uh, unbelievable. First and ten south on the four. Kabai is getting shoved back. 
Uh, I think they're going to give his forward progress maybe to the five yard line, but uh, that's not even going to be a yard pickup. Oh man. We don't keep real detailed stats and obviously they're not official, but I wonder what the average starting point for South is tonight because it has not been good. I could do that. I don't know why I don't do that. I always keep time of possession, but I... Smith on the carry and uh, he carries the pile out for maybe a yard or two, not much. I'm going to give him about three. <laughs> the play went the opposite way and so Kabai gave Lux a little shoulder block, you know, going on the opposite side. And Lux just comes back and kind of gives him a, a, you know, a little slap. <laughs> nice like, try, hey, quarterback. Nice. <laughs> That's right. Mr. Tough Guy. <laughs> Two wide receivers to the right. Goodbye, looking. Got a player deep on the out pattern. There's pass interference. Pass attempt was to Steve Bakhti, but he was knocked down by the defender, Taylor Vanderwood. Just getting a little payback on that one kickoff return, I think it was. Bakhti got him. Well, that's just not a smart penalty that time by Kraft, who's been so good today. And, uh, and that's one of those, the last thing, you know, if he catches, he catches, but don't give him an automatic first down. We're up by three scores. It's going to be first and ten for South. Measuring it up, up, up. Don't stop yet. Over the 20 to about the 22 and a half yard line. We'll call it the 22. 9-11 remaining in the ball game. Preble on top, 24-7. To South is, has to be uh, moving a little more yeah. efficiently. Exactly. Kabai in the shotgun. Pitch out to Smith. Makes a good catch, but uh, good pursuit by the Hornets. And they get Smith back near the 20-yard line. We got to go. Lose yardage on that. Yeah, we got to go here. You know, a score is important, but time is a, a moving, so we got to be quicker to the uh, to the huddle. I know there's 8:48, but you're down by three scores here, and uh, quick and efficient, quick and efficient. Second down, 12. Brunette wide right, Curtis Wilson wide left. Either one, they're on single coverage. Got to like those situations. Fake to Bannock. Kabai keeps it, he goes nowhere. John Kabai having a tough time, just like all the running backs have had uh, for South. Give Kabai maybe a yard at most. It's going to be third down and long. Wide receivers left and right. Smith, wide receiver, uh, pardon me, is a deep back. Fake handoff to him. Goodbye steps up, got a deep over the middle to Wilson. But the pass is overthrown, it goes incomplete. We do have a flag down. Gonna get it again. I think as he made his move to the inside, that's probably when the uh, interference happened. I don't know if we'll be able to see Watch it on this shot. Watch him kinda lean towards the guy. <clears throat> he kinda, yeah, I, <laughs> that was. Well yeah. that right hand, you know, may have been on his back. Uh, it was I don't for know. The, hard for that inside official to see that. I think a little force there by Wilson. You know, why not? Give it a shot. You're not going to catch the pass, so if you bump your the guy a little bit, I, I'll i tell you what, that was a tough call there. Vanderwood. Ball is spotted at the 35. I'll take it. First and 10. Three wide receivers off to the right this time. Wilson is the wide, of the th widest of the three. Quick out to Renzelman, trying to cut it back. He gets it up over the 40. Nice cut back and run by Garrett Renzelman. Renzi with his second catch of the night. Yeah, Coach Hine is saying we gotta get this trucking going here. He's, he's standing by the uh, 25, 30 yard line down here and He's saying we got to get this pickle moving because that clock is rolling and we, we're down three scores. Renzelman has the only two catches of the night. 
Goodbye on a keeper. Didn't want a chance to pitch out to Smith. It looks like he could have had him though. Lunges forward to about the 43. There we go. Not enough. Hurry up. Goodbye straight oh. back. Being rushed, flushed out of the pocket. Gets a nice block from Smith. Gets it out of bounds. Near the 45, maybe the 46. What? Referee signal timeout south there. Look, nice block by Smith right behind uh, Kabai. Then he runs out of bounds. They're marking the ball at the 48 yard line. So pick up a five yards by Kabai that time. First and 10. Three wide receivers off to the left this time. Lone wide receiver out to the right. Kabai looking, looking, fires it deep. He's got Burnett out there and he makes the catch and he's gonna get pushed out of bounds inside the 20 yard line. Come on boys, get up there. Come on boys, come on boys. The clock should stop. Watch this nice pass by Kabai. He gets good clock protection. Still running. Smith, yeah, well he put a push on the guy. Could have done a little better. First and 10 south, ball at the 18 yard line. Call it the 17. That was a 35 yard pickup, Chris. Longest one of the night for Kabai. It looks like South is gonna come up with a semi-tight formation once they get her rolling. They're saying put time on the clock. Absolutely. It's uh, 6.44 remaining. Put it back to 10 minutes. <laughs> well, I, I saw the clock a moving, and they they're gonna add 10 seconds. All right, clock is officially set at 6:54. It's first down at the 17-yard line. Smith alone set back. Fake hand off to him. Look out, Kabai! Look out, Kabai! Look out, Kabai! He's dropped outside the 25 yard line. Good tackle made by Brian Devely, and I remember we mentioned his name before making a nice stop. I think at the 27 yard line, that's a loss of 10 yards. Oh boy, that one hurts. Gotta get down to about the seven yard line here. They're, they're up there at the line here. Shotgun formation, three wide receivers off to the left. Smith looking for a block, he throws one, deep pass. Good defensive move out there, cutting in front of the wide receiver. Is that number 24, Bartlett? I think, no, oh, it was number 34. 34 there, Marty. We don't have his have number. number. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say good defense there by Travis Brunette. No, that could have been too. Once again, Wilson in the flat, wasn't gonna take that pass, went for the deep one, and again, incompletion. Well, now it's third down, too. A lot of wide receivers. Screen. Screen there. play. Smith has it. He doesn't have enough field to work with, Chris. It looked like they were going to throw the middle screen, but they threw it off to the right, the short side of the field. I'll tell you what, it was all set up, but, you know, you got to block. <laughs> I mean, you got to hit somebody out there. There was a... Couple blockers down here that don't even hit anybody. Oh boy. Time out south. Big fourth down play. Fourth and 15. Ball spotted on the 22 yard line. You know, I wish you had had that play set up to the middle of the field because now he's got some room to operate. You know, you go to the short side figuring, I think the theory behind it, Chris, is they have one less defender. You know, they probably stick a defender off to the wide side, an extra defender, but uh, boy, you give him that middle of the field and he can go either way. Sheboyga North, 41 to nothing they lost tonight. Not so good over here on this side. Rough, rough year for uh It's really Sheboygan tough when you're football. a south sider and can say, well, we lost by loss of new. <laughs> yeah. Still not good enough. Yeah, we're not going to have a very good record on TV8 this year either. I'll pull that sheet out. See where we're at. 
three wins and four losses coming into tonight. We were only four and five last year. We mentioned earlier this will be our last broadcast unless uh, South makes it to the playoffs. Fourth down and 15. Kabai under center this time. Rolling. Fake hand off to Smith. He's got Smith. Looked like he was wide open. And that's not the case. Oh, well. Interception by Kraft. He's returning it out over the 20 and knocked down at the 25 yard line. Alex Kraft making his third interception of the night. He is having a night, Chris. And I saw what you saw. Smith open there. I'll tell you, he wasn't open. Well, I mean, he wasn't. If he'd have thrown it right. that way, that that defensive back would have cut right, right in front right. for the there interception. There you see Ray at first, but uh, it looks like he's open. But there's a defender right yeah. there. But I think it would have been a better choice than the other three. <laughs> we can't argue. The guy did make the interception up the middle. Goes the fullback. Oh boy. Chris, not a happy camper. Ball return or a run up to the 34 yard line. That's a pickup of nine yards. Well, give Preble credit. Boy, they, they did a lot of good things tonight. They controlled the line of scrimmage, uh, got the Small yards, no big plays, you know, de offensively. And Coach Brock now uh, mixes it here, mixes it there, and uh, just uh, kind of just took a two south tonight. Some nights you have those nights where the other team's just better, and at this yeah. point I think that's the case. That run was made by Andrew Smith. The nine-yard run was made by the fullback, Jared Simon. I'm going to give him credit. But Smith runs it for the first down. Ball is up to the 37 yard line. Preble's got this one in hand. It's a 4.45 and counting. They're on top, 24 to seven. Be nice to get a turnover, Chris. They've been smooth with that too though, Marty, I'll tell you. Uh, short side of the field, they hand it off. Going away from the action was their star running back, Garrett Mendenwald. And then they gave it to uh, Matt, Mitch Ruiz. No, that's another thing. They don't really hurt themselves with anything. You know, they pretty much play a clean game, I mean, penalty-wise. Don't turn the ball over. They don't throw a lot, so. And you see Ruiz on the carry. The odds of, uh, you know, interceptions and stuff are limited. And there's no way they're going to be throwing now. Mendenwald in motion, inside handoff to the fullback. He bursts up the middle. Simon again, up to the 49. You know, I think that was uh, Ryan Slusarek, number 13, am I right? I think it was 43. 43. Yep, it was. Simon. First and 10 ball on the uh, 49 yard line. Yep. There you see Slusarek, or, or pardon me, uh, Simon right up the middle. Inside hand off to Mendenwald, tries to bust it outside, but he's hit for no gain. Bakhti. And Billman. And Billman on a good stop. Tell you, Steve. He got hit back further than that, but they're going to give him some forward progress and give him a no gain on the play. And Steve Bakht, he's a heck of a player. He is. He's a big dude, too. Second and 10. Mendenwald in motion. Inside handoff to the fullback. And he takes it up to about the 46. Tackled by 20. And again, Preble does a nice thing here too. If you uh, watch very closely, the uh, quarterback watches for the sidelines just to know when to uh, get his players you know, set and snap the ball. They, know they run that clock down very efficiently. They got somebody on the sidelines obviously watching you know, when they put the ball down and spot it so they don't get a delay, delay call here. 
See if they do it again. She's looking over the sidelines, looking for the sidelines. And now. Set. Hike. Fake handoff. Mendenwald on the inside. Reverse. Battles forward. He cuts through the line of scrimmage. He's going to have a big gainer. He's going to go for the touchdown on this play. Boy, they held him in check all game, Chris, until right there he goes 46 yards for the touchdown. Oh, boy. Not good. He got out in the open. No one was going to catch him then. And a touchdown. Boy, oh, boy. You know, he had three yards and two carries so far in the quarter till that uh, burst. Closing up my pen, Marty. Never a good <laughs> thing. Never a good thing. Another good snap and set. Kick is high and deep and good by Bartlett. With the 156 remaining in the ball game, Preble now up 41 to seven. Time for Inhaler Wrestling. Tonight's match, CFC Inhalers, the polluting inhalers of yesterday, take on CFC Free Inhalers. CFC Free Inhalers come out with a massive puffer pump puff, followed immediately by a flawless inhaler impaler. These CFC Free Inhalers are the smart choice for asthma management, Jack. I mean, just look at their moves. Ask your doctor about the new inhalers and call or visit the American Lung Association online to learn more. Well, it might be a small victory for South, even though the game is lost. They uh, held uh, Garrett Mendenhall to uh, only 86 yards and 19 carries. And uh, I think, uh, well, the yardage that you mentioned in some of those big games were like in the 190s, 200s, 180s. So uh, in that respect, South uh, kept them under control till that uh, one play. But uh, it's still going to go in the books as a loss. And uh, even though they have a chance next week, it's... Uh, going to be Ooh. tough. Real tough. Have to play a lot better than they play today. and You know they can. They're capable of it. Ray's got it. Cuts it. And he's knocked down at about the 29-yard line. Good return by Ray. First and 10 south. Spotted at the 29-yard line. Uh, we've been playing with an abbreviated crew. I don't know if uh, our viewers have noticed, but uh, we've only had a one-camera operation. One of Scott's students was AWOL tonight, and uh, Eric Wiesman has been running the tap, top camera all game. He did do the opening down on the field. He did that, but then he had a chase up upstairs, and it's been a cold night for him. It's uh, been brisk, to say the least. Yep. Scott Mailoff in the truck spinning the dials, doing an excellent job on the replays. Yeah, it's been nice tonight. Ooh, and a sack. First one of the night for Preble. Goodbye. Holding nope. on to it a little bit too long. No, nope. that was Jacob Risto. You know, I noticed on the score uh, program tonight, Jacob was on the program cover. I don't know if his dad had anything to do with that. It looks like some of his dad's drawings here. And he puts his son on the uh, cover, but uh, Jacob misses on that pass too. I don't know if Jeff noticed that here. But uh, he's got number one right across here at Sheboygan South, Green Bay Preble. It was nice of him to, to get Jacob some, some press. Airtime, air <laughs> kind of, sort of. Third down and 16. You know, I can maybe take this home and uh, color it when I get home. Jacob Risto at quarterback, like Chris had mentioned. Renzelman is the wide receiver off to the right. Inside handoff to a new running back, Mark Sager. Picks up a couple of yards, not much. That's going to make it fourth down. 114 and counting. Ball is spotted on about the 27 yard line. Pick up a four yards for Sager. South punting. And letting the clock run down. Oh. 
Timeout South before the penalty. Not a good year. Uh, not a good year wins and losses, Marty, but it's always a joy to do these football games. I look forward to them every Friday night. I look forward to my Friday nights, Marty. Yeah, really, especially after the game. Well, <laughs> I look I look forward to the games, and I enjoy doing these, and look well, forward to basketball both. season, too. I mean, it's always a joy to have a, an opportunity to telecast these games. and Well, it's always nice doing the games. You know, we both wish uh, South and North were a little more uh, competitive and win a little more often. Uh, it's been a tough go for uh, Lutheran Kohler with their season the last couple of years. Uh, hopefully things will pick up next season. Good snap. Brunette's punt is away. And it's going to bounce at about the 44-yard line and be touched down there by Rissy. And uh, Preble will uh, take the victory knee. And... Uh, Getting their victory formation. Yep. You know, if, if I ever coach football, this would be the first thing I taught. Because I want to victory formation. Yeah, yeah I, I want to instill that that this is how we're going to have all the games, or you know, that this is what we what we play for. And there's 32 seconds and counting. That could be the last play if the officials take their time before they put the ball in play. He's looking at the clock. Nah, now we'll do it. With 22 <laughs> seconds left. That means they don't have to run another play. And that's going to do it for us at TV8 for our uh, football season. Unless, of course, South Hall somehow wiggles their way into the playoffs, Chris, but it uh, doesn't look good right now. Well, we'll see what happens next week. And... Uh you know, you have the, the ability. It's just a matter of you can have a good week of practice and uh, go up there and get an upset. I do think, you know, like you had mentioned in the opening, I'll bring it up again, I do think South's defense uh, really stood pretty tall for the most part. Uh, they maybe didn't do the job on that 15-play, 69-yard drive, but for the most part, uh, they played quite well, and uh, the offense really struggled. The Preble defense was good tonight. Yes, they were. Well, that's going to do it for our broadcast. Uh, again, for the crew, Eric Wiesman on the cameras tonight. Scott Mailoff in the truck spinning the dials. Again, doing an excellent job on those replays, Scott, especially with slow motion. That was pretty sharp. Uh, I'm Mike Martin, and for my partner, Chris Wright, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the road.